Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Months ago I published a video demonstrating how to build a personal library within Obsidian and manage your book collection. You can find the link to that video in the description down below. Today I want to guide you through a similar process but this time for movies. By the end of this video you will be able to create your own movie database inside your Obsidian vault. But before we start, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now, let's get started. So let's start by installing the plugins we need for building our personal movie database. Go to settings, community plugin, browse, and let's start from quick add. This plugin allows you to quickly create specific notes through custom commands and macros. Next, we need projects to create our beautiful movie database. I already published two introductory videos about these plugins. I will leave the links in the description down below. And lastly, I like to use Commander to add a button in the ribbon menu for executing the command we are going to create. Now that we have installed all the plugins we need, the next step is to add a quick add script to fetch movie data from OMDB. So let's open the script's GitHub page, I will leave the link in the description down below, and click on download raw file in the top right. Now you just need to put this file inside your vault folder. I suggest to create a scripts folder just to keep everything well organized. Alright, the next step is to create a template for our movie notes. This will allow us to automatically insert all the metadata we will retrieve, such as the movie title, the cast, the genre, and so on. First of all, let's create a templates folder. And inside it, I create the movie template note. I've already prepared a sample template, which I'll simply copy and paste. This template, as well as an extensive list of all possible OMDB metadata, can be found in the description down below. Now, ensure the templates folder is set within the templates plugin before proceeding to the next step. To do that, go to settings, templates, and then insert the folder here. If you prefer using a community plugin such as Templator, make sure to specify the templates folder in the corresponding field. Let's now dive into the Quick Add Options panel. Click on Manage Macros and let's call it Movie. Add Macro and open the Configuration panel. Here in User Scripts, you just need to select the script that we added earlier and click on Add. Now if you click on this cog here, the plugin will ask you for an OMDB API key. To generate an API key, you just need to go to the OMDB API website, I will leave the link in the description down below, click on API key on the top menu, and here you just need to select free, insert your email where you will receive the API key, your name, and a short description on how you are going to use the API. Click on submit, and now you should have received an email with your key and a URL that you must click to activate it. After you activated the key, copy it and paste it in here. Now we need to add our movie template to the macro. So let's click on template, open the settings by clicking on the cog right here and insert the template path in this field. I also enable the file name format because I want to use the movie's title as the title for my notes. To do so, the format should be curly brackets value, colon, file name. Lastly, I want my movie notes to be created within my movies folder. Now let's go back to the main options panel where I will create a command that will trigger my macro. To do so, select a macro, give it a name like new movie, and click on add choice. Open the settings, and you should find the movie macro previously created right here. 
Finally, by activating this lightning bolt icon here, you will be able to activate this command right from the command palette. Let's try this out. Open the command palette with command P or control P and search for new movie. Type in the name of the movie you are looking for, for example, The Prestige, and click on it. If I open the movies folder, I will have my movie note containing all the desired data. Now, one thing I really like to do with this type of commands is to add a button inside the ribbon menu here on the left. To do that, I use Commander. Let's open the settings, Commander, and here you can basically create any button you want in different parts of the UI. In this case, I choose the ribbon menu, click on Add Command, choose the command we want to use, in this case, New Movie, assign an icon to it, and click on Save. And here you have it. If I click on it, I will activate the new movie command. I insert the movie I want to search, let's say Shutter Island, and select it. And we have a new movie note inside our folder. Now it's time to create a database where we can easily consult the movies we add. To do that, we will use the project's community plugin and its color review. So open the project's plugin by clicking here on the top left button and click on create a new project. Give it a name, such as movie database. And here I tell the plugin to include all the notes that are inside the folder called movies. Click on create project. And as you can see, I already have a table with all my movies, but for my database, I want a gallery view. So click on the plus icon here, choose gallery, and name it movies. Let's delete the table view since we don't need it. And now let's customize our gallery view. First of all, I'd like to see the movie posters. Here on cover, I need to choose the field that contains the image. And in this case, it's poster. And the images are now visible. But if you want to see the entire poster, you just need to change the setting here from fill image to fit image. Now, if I click on include fields, I can choose which data I want to see inside each card. For example, I want to see the actors, the director, the genre, the rating and the runtime. And this is an easy way to create a beautiful and well organized movie database. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember you can follow me on X and Mastodon and you can also join my discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM and note taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.